Good morning, family. This is Shanine with Simply a Better You. And I know today is usually a garden day, but with the weather, I have not been able to get outside and get on top of my garden. I've been checking in on it here and there. Everything is kind of at its, its end. It's time to start pulling plants and getting seeds started and preparing for fall. So I'm super excited about that and I will have a vlog up soon with some seed starting and what the layout and the plan is going to be for the fall. So today um, we have a fruit club meeting this evening. So with grabbing kids and then the eating dinner and the fruit club meeting right after that, I'm going to go ahead and start dinner now. So what I'm doing is a stuffed pepper. Um, eventually I will get a recipe together and add it to my blog at simplyabetteryou.com but this is my actual my own recipe including the sauce and I have never bothered to write it down so it's just something I have thrown together over time and tweaked here and there and the sauce I use for everything spaghetti lasagna anything that calls for um, tomato sauce even pizza it's great. I am doing a stuffed pepper recipe today. Well, I'll say that a few times. Stuffed pepper recipe. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to get it prepped and ready to go to throw in the oven so that we can come home. You know, everybody changes out of school uniforms. We get dressed and go to this meeting. So, guys, I invite you to join me today in the kitchen. is left over from beef stew that I made earlier this week and I had a few extra pieces that I figured the girls would eat if not I would throw them in something so I've cut up a, um, a small to medium onion one green pepper and a few ends of a carrot and a big handful of spinach now you can or can't whatever you want to do um, I throw my spinach in with my stuffed pepper mix and it cooks in with it and uh, I can't say I'm hiding vegetables but the kids don't really notice it and they eat it so score for moms okay so what I have here is green peppers cut in half now my grandmother when she made this and put it in a, um, a Dutch oven or a deep casserole dish or a um, crock pot she always cut the tops off and she would stuff the middle of them and then nestle them down in um, tomato sauce well for I'll say lack of time and motherhood when grandma would do that she would start early in the morning and these things would cook all day so anywhere from okay it felt like all day to me um, I would say anywhere from four to six hours which is an eternity when something smells so good and you want to eat it well I cut mine in half forgive me grandma I cut mine in half and I stuff it it's a perfect serving size it's easier for the kids to eat and they cook faster I can cook these in the oven 
Um, I used to do them in the crock pot and um, I've used a Dutch oven and I've put them down in a casserole dish and stuffed them down the middle and it just it always seemed like it took forever to cook um, and that whatever we were using the rice the quinoa or something like that just didn't cook all the way through the vegetables didn't get cooked I just wasn't happy with it so I started cutting them in half and stuffing them and um, they cook faster so I can have dinner ready quickly by placing these in a casserole dish and putting them in the oven life happened I got caught up in work and time got away from me so I've already picked up the girls from school and now I'm going to work on stuffing these peppers and getting them in the oven while I'm thinking about it I'm going to preheat my oven at 350 my sauce actually cooked for two hours <laughs> <laughs> so it's ready to go. I'm going to mix this up and get this thrown in the oven so that we have enough time to eat before we head to our fruit club meeting.
Okay, so we got our peppers in the oven and now we're going to do a quick clean of the kitchen. That way we can eat, get everything thrown in the dishwasher and I don't have to come home to a dirty kitchen to clean after 8.30 at night when I need to get kids in bed for school tomorrow. So I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think ahead and get the things done now so that I don't have to do them when I come home and I'm tired. And there is nothing worse than waking up to a dirty kitchen in the morning. I feel so unaccomplished when I have to wake up to that. So I'm gonna to try to knock it out now before I'm exhausted this evening. cleaned up and it is ready to go food is cooking and I'm gonna take you guys with me out to the compost pile and give you a, just a quick glimpse of the backyard of course you can see it does need to be turned I need to add more mulch but mom life I will probably get to that tomorrow so let's do a quick run through here of the backyard Potatoes are still going. It's amazing what they can do in just a little pool. Bella enjoying her ground cover. She loves that spot. So, the Japanese cucumber plant is gone. Um, it definitely got sick enough that it needed to go. I pulled back flowers the other day and found a whole lot of mold growing and a whole lot of ants. So, this bed might. might need some help. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm not planting anything extra in it. But everything is pretty much on its last leg. With 105 degrees, <laughs> it's uh, been a little rough. The okra is done. It is not um, blooming anymore. It's losing whatever blooms it's trying to produce. Uh, it's not producing any more okra, though I see one I missed the other day. Um, the heat master tomato got very sick, turned yellow, and died, so it got tore out. The other ones are also not, they're not putting off any blooms, they're not, you know, producing anything, so these are probably done. This one's getting pretty sickly. And it looks like I've got another hornworm out here somewhere. And little boogers. 
soon as I have chickens, I'll have something to feed them to. I can see the little caterpillar poop. I'll find him later tonight, if I remember. Oh, we do have some blossoms coming. Right there. So we might get some. I think what I'm going to do, though, I really, really did like this okra. This one is, uh, this one's pretty, well, probably still eatable, but I'm going to let this go and I uh, use the seeds. I think I'm going to let these go, too, and get the seeds off of them since the plant's just not producing. It's, it's sick. It's, it's pretty much done. Peppers are still going strong. Super chilly and a sweet heat. They're still producing. Peppermint has died back, but it's coming back up. And we have one. We have one tiny little pepper. This should be a red pepper. This one's orange. And then this one over here is green. They're not doing so hot like I, I had said in a previous vlog um, when we first got them. We got a really, really hot day. And I mean, it burnt the plants crispy. But everything else is doing good. Our um, papaya has grown. And fruiting. I um, don't know how much of that is going to be viable, but we'll see. I wish I could get over there to my neighbors. I might need to go over there and knock on their door and say, hey, if you're not going to eat those, I'd love to have them. Um, we have, so I came out here a few weeks ago. This bloomed. I think you guys saw that in the blog and I came out here and tickled it with my fingers um, to get it pollinated and it looks like this might produce a fruit we are actually going to a um, a dragon fruit like seminar tonight at the fruit club they'll have a speaker there this will be another blossom which would be awesome if they would actually produce fruit we haven't gotten any yet because we can't get out here to pollinate them. Um, bananas are surviving, but producing nothing. It's just too hot. Passion fruit um, got a fungus and died. And uh, we're going to rip that out. And we need to also dig the soil out beneath it. Kuka melon, still Noah melon. I hope when the temperatures cool a little bit we might get something I really want to pickle those <sighs> this little guy I cannot believe this is called a tasty tumbler cherry tomato it has not stopped regardless of the heat um, drought it just produce and produce and produce so definitely am saving um, seeds off of that very impressed with that plant. Um, these are butternut squash that my five-year-old planted. And although they are a little bug munched, they are making it. And these are butternut squash that my five-year-old planted. And they're, they're going. And I have two more coming up. I can't even believe those germinated. I'm going to assume those are butternut squash, but if she picked up some seeds off the counter and brought them out here, it'll be a surprise. So, so there's the backyard, guys. It's still, it's still live. It's still going, but um, it has slowed down quite a bit, but we are excited for fall. We can't wait till it gets here. And coming up soon, I should have a vlog out over the seeds that I'm getting ready to plant. So guys, thank you for joining me today. And as always, I bless you on your journeys.